But then there's a further issue, which is that um, maybe there are white families who were not involved as directly or even indirectly with the, uh, with the slave trade, but who still benefited from it. And then there is the whole question which you put on the table about people who came to America after. Um, and, you know, like my family. Uh, and why is it that this movie speaks to me, you know, so deeply yet? And so what I would do is I think I would draw a distinction between a concept of guilt which locates accountability in a sort of limited set of wrongdoers and, on the other hand, a concept of responsibility, which is, I think, a more broad suggestion that all of us, whatever our lineage, whatever our ancestry, whatever our complicity, still have a moral duty to, as Katrina says in, in the last bit, to make things right. And that's a moral duty that's incumbent upon everybody who inherits this, this nation, um, regardless of uh, whatever the history is. And I think, you know, to, to add one more point on top of that, the exercise of that responsibility, to, and this is, I think, where Ambassador Joseph has been taking us, necessarily requires the answer to the question, what are we willing to give up uh, to make things right? Because it's going to require us to give up something, um, whether it is uh, the seat at Harvard, uh, the seat at Princeton, or is it going to require us to give up our uh, segregated neighborhoods, our segregated schools? Um, is it going to require us to uh, give up um, our money? Uh, it's going to require giving up something. And so until we can have that further conversation of what it is we're willing to give up, uh, I, I, I agree that, that the reconciliation can't fully occur.